Hi guys, I just wanted to make a series of videos on some basic high school mathematics concepts. I thought I'll start off with HCF and LCM. As of now, I'm planning to make three parts to this video, so stay tuned, stay tuned for those. Okay, let me start off in the part one. I just want to cover two things. One is the division method. And second one is the factorization method. In the division method, I want to cover something called Euclid's division lemma. Before we begin with this, I want to just elaborate on three basic terms that we use, actually four. One is the dividend. Let's call that A. Next is the divisor. Let's call that B. And then there's a quotient. Q and a remainder called R. So Euclid's division lemma states that A is equal to BQ plus R. So what does this mean? If we take a, an example of, let's say, 10 divided by 5. So that's 5, 10. We know that 5 times 2 is 10. So if we subtract, we have 0. So in this case, 5 is the divisor. 10 is the dividend. 2 is the quotient. And 0 is the remainder. So we can write this as 10 is equal to 5 times 2 plus 0. So this is true for any positive numbers A and B. They have to be positive integers. So let's see how we can use this to find out the HCF of two numbers. Let me take some really simple examples to illustrate this. So let's say example one, I want to just do 8 and 20. So in many of these textbooks, you might see two numbers written within brackets or parentheses. So let's find out what the HCF is using this Euclid's lemma. So 8, 20. So we write this down like this. So now 8 is the divisor, 20 is the dividend. So 8 times 2 would give us 16, which gives us 4. 4 is the remainder. So we can write this as, remember A equals BQ plus R. So we can write this as 20 is equal to 8 times 2 plus 4. So until this 4 or remainder becomes 0, we have to continue the process. And once r is equal to 0, we know we have the HCF. We have HCF. So now what we do is again 4 and we take the previous divisor which is now 8 and then see what it is. So you know 4 times 2 is 8 which gives us 0. So we can again write this as a is equal to bq plus r form which gives us 8 is equal to 4 times 2 plus 0. Observe that we have 0 now. Therefore, 
HCF is equal to the divisor which is equal to 4 therefore HCF of 8 comma 20 is equal to 4 let me show another example something pretty similar I don't want to take any complicated examples I want to cover those in the next few parts so let's say we want to do second example of 55 and 210 okay so 55 divides 210 uh, 55 into 3 I think is the closest which gives us 165 okay so 55 times 3 is 165 subtract this 45 so let's write this in a is equal to bq plus r form 210 is equal to 55 times 3 plus 45 note that it's 45 and not 0 so we have to continue with the process 45 now take the previous divisor 45 times 1 is 45 still gives us a remainder of 10 so write this in a is equal to bq plus r form 55 is equal to 45 times 1 plus 10 now let's take 10 and do this again 4 times will give us 40 with the remainder of 5 so we are getting close it's going to be 45 is equal to 10 times 4 plus 5 still not 0 so let me just take this space here now take 5 and the previous divisor which was 10 let's do 2 times give us 10 and 0 so if you write this in a a is equal to bq plus r form it will give us 10 is equal to 5 times 2 plus 0 notice that the remainder is 0 so we can stop this process now and say hcf of 55 and 210 is equal to the last divisor or the divisor that gives us zero remainder which is five okay so this was euclid's division lemma and we have also seen a little bit of the division method of finding out the hcf and lc hcf sorry now let's move to a more famous method and Personally, my favorite and the easiest method to find out the HCF and LCM of uh, two numbers. It's called prime factorization. Let's see how to do that. Prime factorization. First of all, we need to know what a prime number is prime number is a number which is greater than 0 sorry greater than 1 and has no other factors than 1 and itself 
so if you take 5 for example so it is greater than 1 and also you cannot divide 5 by any other number except 1 and 5 so this makes it a prime number but if you take 4 it is greater than 1 but you can divide 4 by 1 2 and 4 so such numbers are called composite numbers. So we are interested in really numbers like 5 which are prime numbers. So let's see how we go about doing factorization. Now let's say you want to find out, example, you want to find out how to do a factorization and find out the HCF and LCM of 80 and 15. So let's first write down 15. We got to start with prime numbers first. So let's check for the basic prime numbers. Is it divisible by 2? No. So let's start with 3. Yes, 3. It is divisible by 3. 3 times 5. And let's do the same for 80. 80 is divisible by 2. So 2 times 40, 42, 2, 2, 5. So in the case of HCF, what we need is basically the common factor in both these numbers. So in this case, 5 is common to both, correct? So 5. LCM is nothing but the highest power of each prime factor so if you we now know that we have 2 we have 3 and we have 5 three unique numbers so let's see the highest powers of each so 2 has 4 highest 3 has just 1 and 5 also has just 1 basically these powers are how many times this number is repeated 2 raised to 4 is 16 times 3 times 5 which is 240. Now if you're wondering how I did these factorizations let's just see it's uh, it's fairly simple and straightforward so if you take 15 you can write it this way so 3 3 15 divided by 3 is 5 so 5 since it's a prime number 5 just 1 so the factors are going to be 3 times 5 as you can see and if you take 80 and do the same procedure start with 2 because it's an even number 40 then 2 is 20 Divide it again by 2 because it's an even number. 10. Again 2. 5. 5 is a prime number. So we have to write 5. And you can list the factors that way. And that's all it is. Very simple. Let's take a look at another example. This time, let's see three numbers instead of just two and make it a little more complicated. 18, 81, and 108. So first number is 18. Let's do two, nine. So nine is not divisible by two and the next prime number is three. 
which is which can divide 9 so 3 3 1 so the factors for 18 let's list it out here is 2 into 3 into 3 the next number is 81 it's not an even number so the next prime number we can try for other than 2 is 3 yes it is divisible by 3 which gives us 27 again 3 9 9 divided by 3 is 3 and 3 divided by 3 is 1 so for 81 we can write it as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 and the last number 108 we can divide it by oh we can actually divide it by 2 because it's an even number 2 gives us 54 again an even number divided by 2 gives us 27 27 is not an even number so we cannot divide it by 2 the next prime number we can try is 3 it is divisible by 3 so 9 again 9 is divisible by 3 and 3 by 3 is 1 so for 108 the factors are 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 so let's see what the HCF is HCF we have to check for all the common factors does all the numbers have 2 as their factors it doesn't because 81 is not an even number so 2 is ruled out let's then try for 3 yes there is 3 here there is 3 here there is 3 so it's 3 times but there's also another 3 which is common to all 3 times 3 which is 9 LCM so first let's list out all the unique factors 2 times 3 there, there's no other there's no 5 or 7 so it's just 2 and 3 now let's go around and see what the highest powers for each is so, or where it is repeated the most and how many times so 2 is repeated the most in 108 if you see this and it's repeated twice so 2 raised to 2 and 3 is repeated in 81 maximum and it's four times so it's four into three raised to four is 81 I believe yes that is 81 so four times 81 is 324 therefore LCM is 324 so that's it for prime factorization and finding HCF and LCM of two numbers it's fairly simple straightforward procedure uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you want me to go slower uh, in the next few videos if you want me to show more working uh, just let me know what you guys think and stay tuned for the next few parts. Thank you.